My name is uh, Olivier Labonté Lamoine. I'm a filmmaker from Montreal, Canada, and uh, my film is called Déjà Vu. It's playing here at Concordo Festival. Okay, um, first question. Uh, how did you come up uh, with the idea for Déjà Vu? Um, that's a good question. I think it was. It started off as like a, a dream that I had. That that was like a part of the film, and from there I just started building uh, on on that first idea of just somebody meeting a friend in a diner and starting to have like a déjà vu of a nightmare she's had. So okay. it just really started from that. Uh, but I really wrote the, the the film for the two lead actors. I really wanted to work with them, and uh, I had worked with them in the past, and. Um, just out of wanting to do something that was not too expensive to shoot, like just mm -hmm. like a more like a talking head film. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I, I, it's all those things together. And Déjà Vu is a really nightmarish uh, film. And uh, is this a, a real fear that you have, the one about Déjà Vu or, or dream and uh, a nightmare or? Um, that's a good question. Um, I, I don't know if it's a fear that I, I personally have. Um, I just, I find like the scariest thing is the unknown and, and just that, the concept of something you don't quite understand and you can't explain. And that's okay. what the protagonist is going through, something that I, I, I really wanted to explore. Okay, and what films or directors have been the most influential to you and why? Um, I think it's a bit obvious, but I, I started really lit watching a lot of David Lynch when I when I was starting, yeah. okay. and it really really influenced me. I really like uh, how how free his imagination is. That's because I find f as as a filmmaker, it it takes so much planning to do a film. It's not like a, a musician; you can't just like grab an instrument and and do the art that you do. Filmmaking takes writing, takes organization, that kind of stuff. And I find that Lynch is so instinctive. That's something okay. that I find really interesting. But I'm a huge fan of, of David Fincher also, just in the just in the way that he he directs the attention, just in the way that okay. he, he cuts a scene uh, shot per shot and something very original and unique in his attention. But, uh, yeah. Okay, and talking about your next projects or next films, are you planning to make another horror film or, um, or you want to try to do something different? Um, I'm planning to do something different for the moment uh, in short film, something more socially engaged uh, okay. than what, what I did now. I want to talk about uh, there's a lot of tensions between uh, the far right uh, and immigration uh, situations in, back in Canada and, and especially in the States. So my next film is going to be talking about that. But I think there's a tone can always apply to maybe a story that's not horror, but it, there can be a dark tone to it. And uh, I think I'm always going to want to find darkness in, in, in real situations. Yeah, because um, nowadays there are a lot of horror movies uh, with these uh, social uh, themes like yeah. Get Out. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe you want to do something like that? Yeah, that's well, the idea. Uh, there's a, there's an, also a feature film that I'm starting to write with a, with a, with a writer and uh, with a co as a co-writer. And that one is definitely going into that, that kind of direction. It's, it, um, a lot more into the, uh, I guess it's a post Me Too uh, movement idea where a woman is, is victim in a man's world. Uh, but I, I just really want to stylize it and, and, and play with horror and tension because I think that just it attracts a lot of attention. I think that's what mm -hmm. Get Out, why Get Out was so successful. It was a horror film and it interested people. There was a good intrigue. People were like drawn to the to the scare of the film. But then it had a, a very important message to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, last question. Um, do you think that film festivals are still important today for directors, and and why? Yeah, they're very important. I mean, um, it's it's uh, it's hard just to make a film uh, in the first place, but then it's so much harder to get it seen. Um, yeah, just having uh, f for your short film to have a life in film festivals, it's it's it means the world, and it means that you can. For the industry, I mean, back home, it, it's a it's a system of grants. Uh, you, you apply for grants, how you fund yeah. your films. Uh, the credibility you get from touring and going to festivals brings uh, a lot of help too when you apply for a grant. It, it gives you a lot of credibility. And um, I just think for the exchange, just to, to watch movies from people from other countries and, and to see how films are done elsewhere, because back home it can be like uh, like a cocoon. We always we yeah. all do things the same way. And if, I think festivals are a window to, to share ideas.
with the rest of the world. It's really important. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Olivia. I can't wait to Thanks see so your film again tonight. Thank, Thank you. you.